Okay, this is May 2016, paper one, question two. Take a moment to try this one before you move on. Make sure that you are not using a calculator for it. Pause the video and resume when you're ready to listen to the answer. So this one's asking us which one has the same empirical as well as the same molecular formula. So we talked about this a little bit in class where things can have the same empirical formula, which is the lowest reduced form. Like glucose and acetic acid, where acetic acid, the main component of, well not the main component, water is the main component of vinegar, but the uh, chemical that makes vinegar vinegary, acetic acid, or ethanoic acid, depending on who you're listening to, um, that is the same empirical formula as glucose, which, mm, sugar, that's always a good thing, but if you're going to start taking pure acetic acid, so not the diluted vinegar form that you're used to in your, your food, you're going to end up poisoning yourself. So two very different things that have the same empirical formula, the lowest reduced form. The molecular formula is the full form. So the total numbers of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens that we're dealing with here. Now these, they're, they're helping you out here. IB is really helping you out. They're telling you the molar mass that they want you to use for each of these um, components. The hydrogen, they're just saying equal it to one. You can't use a calculator on paper one, so they're trying to help you out. Carbon is a 12 rather than 12.01, and oxygen is 16, which that one would be anyways. So we are looking for the same in both of these. So we want this to equal that when we add them up. So if I have CO2, H, I have one carbon, two oxygens, and one hydrogen. So if we add all of that up together, we get 45. Not the same as that. This is telling us that this number, or this molecular formula, is double what this is. So we could say times two, the molecular formula here is C2. O4 H2. Very different from its empirical formula. It's double it. So that is not our answer. Let's look at the next one. CH3O. Um, and you, so same values that we were using before. Here's one carbon, here's one oxygen, and here's three hydrogens. So we add this all up together. Sorry, I should have written CH3O. Um, we get 31, which again, this molar mass here is double that. So this is really times two. My molecular formula here is C2H6O2. So that is not my answer. Then we finally have, or next have C2H4O. So we have two times 12, one times four, and then one oxygen, so that's just 16. Got 484. Again, this molecular formula is double this value, that 44. So this is gonna be times two. This is really C4H8O2 is its molecular formula. So still have not hit the right answer. Hopefully this last one will do it for us. Um, we've got C4, H eight O, and so I've got four carbons. I have eight oxygens and one, or sorry, that was eight hydrogens and one oxygen. So we got to do a little bit of mental math here, and we get seventy two. Which, whoo-hoo, Eureka matches that D is our correct answer.